It was a circuit that was conceived and designed by Stuart Cosgrave and he had a little team together with him, Bosco O'Brien and Eddie Regan and uh, really flying in the face of uh, all the things that could try and stop you uh, to build a race circuit which is pretty phenomenal uh, endeavour given the fact that Ireland had, had little or no history in the world of motorsport and they put that together and it turned out to be a real mecca for motorsport in Ireland. Then some years later um, the circuit uh, ran into financial difficulties in the 80s. Heading for receivership with weeds growing everywhere and, and really on the, at the end of a cusp of an era for Modelo Park. I came down here with my dad and we climbed the fence and walked the track and took photos and we thought we would never see a race at Mandela Park again. Martin Brain is uh, the, or was, I suppose, the saviour of Irish motorsport in lots of ways. Martin Brain came on board and bought the circuit in 86. Martin was a, a proud Irish man who made his money through uh, property in the UK and further field, but was always uh, an Irish man and proud to, proud to be. He contributed millions to develop the circuit. And set about transforming it into an international standard venue. Built the garages, built the corporate suites, built the tower, you know, the, uh, everything that's here pretty much. It was going to the banks, the circuit was closed. Had he not done that, uh, this could well be a housing estate. Multiple millions Martin ha has uh, contributed to, to to Irish motorsport. Um, you know, so an absolute patron. It was less than a mile when it was initially built. Now Martin has brought it up to 3.5 kilometres, 2.2 miles. And put all the facilities in that you see around today to make us the venue that it is. With that has come a, an FIA grade licence so we can virtually run everything other than Formula One here. We got British Formula Three, we never thought we'd see that. We got British touring cars on a number of occasions, British GTs. Superbikes, you know, we got we got incredible stuff here. I was here and commentated actually when Ayrton Senna won uh, against really stiff Irish competition. We had British touring cars, we had a lot of stuff like that, and then they were becoming quite regular until the recession, the recession in the kind of 07, 08. But that's something we probably look towards again. I mean, we're on a, we're on a roll this year with Irish circuit racing. Uh, the ICCR has been brilliant. I think uh, if Martin was here, I think he would be hugely proud of it. Um, and there's a great buzz around the paddock. You know, to see so many kids and families around the venue today is something that Martin would have been delighted to see. Uh, and as I said, for the sport to, to progress, it's, uh, it's certainly something that he would have uh, been really proud of. So there's a whole lot of positives and it fits into Martin's ethos and his way of thinking. And the fact that we have the trophy to remember him is really apt. And it's really apt that we're having it this weekend being presented. The Martin Bahrain Perpetual Trophy, or the Bahrain Perpetual Trophy as it's called, is back being awarded. It will be on an annual basis at a, a particular meeting, uh, I suppose a special meeting in Mandela Park every year. It seemed fitting this year uh, for it to be awarded to, particularly to the Formula V class this weekend, which they've been brilliant all season with such great grades, great racing. We are racing for the Martin Bahrain Perpetual Trophy this weekend and it's an absolute honour to have been awarded it. Mondello Park contacted us a couple of weeks ago to ask if we would like to race for it and of course we jumped at the chance. They've had some of the best races, they're so close this year. We've had very large grids all season long, kind of 25 plus cars and here they are. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> He made Mondello the track it is today that we race at so often and we're so grateful to have these wonderful facilities. So to be racing for the Martin Brand Trophy is just an absolute honour and we're delighted. I think whoever wins the, uh, the Martin Bryan Trophy this weekend will really deserve it.
So for us, it's a significant trophy. When we awarded at motorsport events like we did today, it kind of keeps Martin's name front and centre as it should be. You know, the, the venue is still held, uh, is still owned by his family, and his family is still hugely passionate about Martin's legacy here in Modelo. So, and it's certainly something that we were really mindful of, and uh, I want to keep that moving into the future and keep Martin's name front and centre. Martin's legacy is still here to provide a tremendous venue for the world of motorsport in Ireland. When you talk about Mandela Park, you should know who Martin Moraine is and you should understand his, uh, his importance to the venue.